All right, welcome back to the Roblox course. And in this lecture, we're going to take a look at services. Now, we're not actually going to do anything really with services. I just want to provide a brief overview of what services there are and then sort of go into why we should we even use services, what they're for, and sort of in that direction. So this is also going to be a more theoretical approach and a more theoretical lecture. Well, yeah, let's just uh, dive in. So as you can see, we are currently on a website. So we're at robloxfandom.com. And this is a really good site for an overview of services. Now, some of those services are no longer in game and some of them are still in game. But it is a good idea to just take a look. So as you can see, there are quite a few services uh, listed here. And if we, for example, say, well, let's take a look at the badge service, right? So the badge service, you've probably played a game where there are badges that you can earn, right, sort of achievements. And the badge service is used to sort of track how, uh, who gets a badge, when they get a badge, and so on. And if we take a look at this site, for example, and as you can see, uh, they have its brief description here, right, can be used to get information about a badges and to give a badge to a user. So this is sort of a, an idea here. And then you can also see what functions there are, what events there are uh, that can be used there. And the great thing about uh, the list here is that it has a, well, at least a short description of what the individual uh, service does. And, well, let's just uh, switch over to Roblox again. And I've prepared a little something. So we've already seen that you can either take get the player service by just you doing game.players, because all of those objects here in, inside of the Explorer, they are also all services. Some of them even have the name service, right? So the script, uh, the service script service, which we've been using for our scripts, that has the name service. And then uh, the sound service, we've not used that. Test or localization service, we've also not used that. Right, and as an example here, I have the players in, so the player service, right, which is this one, like I said. And if we just run this and let's see what gets printed out, well, we can see that players and players gets printed out because, like I said, both of those things are exactly the same. So it is equivalent uh, if you write game.players or if you write game and then get service players. However, of course, this one then yields to, or you can also get services that are not inside of the Explorer. For example, all right, let's just say, um, let's just call this an example, the variable, and then say game, and then we get service. You've already seen that when I then put in the, uh, the string variable that we actually get su the suggestion for all services that are in the game. And there are, like I've said, a whole bunch of them. There are like a really a lot of services. And what's going to happen is um, during the, let's say, evolution of this course, what I want to do is um, each time that another service is needed, I'm going to go into the, that service, you know, what, before we need it. So before we actually apply this. And so some of them might be uh, the marketplace service is one of them that I definitely want to talk about. So especially when we go into the more intermediate and advanced topics in Roblox programming. So right now we're just covering a little bit of the basics, like I said. And as we go into there, then, you know, we, we start to need more and more services. Because the services, the idea of them is that they are, you know, they have events, they have functions and uh, properties that just make it way easier to deal with certain things so for example the marketplace service right it, you only need to supply uh, when we have the marketplace service let's see for example right and then we can do example dot and as you can see so first of all there are some of the uh, events here so prompt bundle purchase finished we have a um, prompt purchase finished so there are some of the events are the finished uh, purchases and then there is also some methods for example we can get the product info we can get the uh, developer product and that's an asynchronous call we can also say hey prompt a, a bundle purchase or prompt a game pass purchase and that is that simply then makes a gui appear that says hey you know for who does that um you can supply a player basically and then for that player it's going to say hey uh, how about you uh, purchase a game pass and then you just have to put in the game pass id and then this can of course be called for example when someone joins the the game or it could be called when someone you know goes to an npc and talks to them or something like that 
So th there's really a lot of ways you, could, you can do it uh, in this example for the marketplace. But once again, this is something that we're going to look into when we really need it. I just wanted to give a brief sort of, you know, overview summary of services. So they are just incredibly useful. And instead of uh, just going through each of these services and just saying, okay, this service is for this, this service is for this. First of all, I would argue at least half of the services are very rarely needed ever because they're just, you know, there are so many services that they're basically for almost every eventuality, right? So I think that not every service is uh, always needed, but some services, of course, like the marketplace service, if you want to put in uh, game passes or the badge service, if you want to put in badges, those services are, of course, well needed very often. And if we, for example, look back at this, as you can see, there are some services which um, might, of course, be uh, really interesting. So, for example, here we have the Game Pass service as well, right? Or we can look at the, um, let's say, the localization service, right? Something that's actually inside of the Explorer as well. Uh, and with that, for example, we can uh, make it so that, you know, certain strings are actually localized to certain languages because of course maybe not everyone speaks English and uh, so our game should be accessible in different languages as well. Like I said, um, most of the services will be uh, going through when we are actually using them. Right, so that was basically a just short little overview of the services. Like I said, more theoretical right now and then once we really get into the intermediate stuff, we're going to see more and more services come up and we're actually going to use more and more of the services because, you know, the the more advanced the topics or the more advanced the things we want to actually do, the more services we might need. And yeah, that's basically it. So if there are any questions, of course, always feel free to ask and I'll be sure to respond. And yeah.